Didn't see you there. This is a tutorial for tutorial. <laughs> this is a tutorial for Lumi Inko Dye. Let's get started. <laughs> First, you need a hard surface like this board and some spray glue. Spray it like so. Then place your t-shirt over the top. Spread your t-shirt over the now tacky surface and give it a few swooshes. No wrinkles can be seen. Take your negative transparency and line it up where you would like to have it placed on the shirt. This is just for some eyeballing. But next, we will take our <laughs> we will take our Lumi Inko dye and spread it around where we want our design to be. It's <laughs> 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 forgotten that Inko dye is light sensitive, so we now must proceed to my little closet with a UV free bulb. Let's go. Aye. Now, the next step is to dilute your Lumi Inko dye with a little bit of water. The recommended amount is 50% water, 50% Inko dye. Let's go. Check it out. And make sure you're in your light sensitive environment at this point. Ooh, look at that. Funky. Ooh, that's a mighty lot. That'll be fine. Now, can mix it around in here in this little bowl. I want to pour some more out here. I'm using black Inko dye. Because I have a little black design that I thought would look cool. So now, we can make that where we want it to be on the shirt. Right about there. And we can just blot in the areas. I just smear your, your inko dye everywhere. Here I am, smearing away, smearing away, smearing away, all the live long day. So now, I was told this step is essential. You must blot the excess dye out from your shirt. Now I got mine pretty soggy, so I'm not sure if it's going to work super well, but this is a learning experience for all of us. <laughs> Scabby scabbers, okay. So the purpose of this is so that like when you actually cure it, that um, when you wash it, the top layer of the ink doesn't just wash away because what we're going to do is like if it's like just the top layer that's above the shirt that cures you will be in trouble because that won't be the actual fabric that gets dyed take our transparency just line it up with with your with your scooby boo -ba, with your where you smeared the ink just, now I'm seeing that I missed a few spots so I'll just cover that up real quick so something that that uh, that I've learned from this time is it's good to do this in a ventilated environment. It's quite stanky, this chemical. <laughs> <laughs> in the words of Mike TV, lights, camera, action! Now we just wait a little while for, or for wait 10 minutes was what the website said to let this process finish on out. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's kind of coming out completely red. I mean, I guess that's not that bad of a thing. It still looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a, a rusty rusty kind of orange red kind of thing it was supposed to be black but i think i just messed up with how i was diluting it or how uh, how much i i actually smeared onto it so you might be able to hear in the background i'm filling up my washing machine to like a mini load right now Ooh, bubbly so yeah since that's done it's it was good to kind of have it running so i'll be able to just like grab this right away and toss it right into the machine so that um, the parts underneath the black in the 
in the transparency don't spend too much time exposed to like the UV rays so in just a moment I'm going to turn off turn off this thing I might as well do it right now you can't turn this off yeah this was after like 20 minutes of this being in there oh that looks so cool actually I wish I would have shown you guys. Sorry, I just set the phone down. There, let's see if you guys can see this. Yeah, before it, just one quick shot of that, just because it's really, really cool. Boom. Now back into the machine. So, that's that. That's my first experience with Inko dye, and um, yeah, I'll try to do it a little bit better next time. <laughs> Thank you. So, right here's the finished project, and uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I mean, it, it evolved from, like, mistakes being made, you know, but uh, I think that's that it, um, it worked out okay in the end. So yeah, thank you. So just now I'm, I retried the process using a tank top and uh, so right here I instead, instead of just like kind of blobbing all of the ink on there I just kind of dabbed it on with a sponge you know and uh, I'm expecting this one to turn out a little bit better, so we'll see. Well, I let it expose for longer, and this one turned out much better than the last one, so I am very content. Brazil! Nice job! What? Ah! <laughs>